Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Over here. Hello, Norma. Hello. Hello, Alexandra. Welcome. How are you? How are you doing today? Hi, thank you. Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, hopefully everybody will connect. Hello, Emma, Maria. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm very well, and you? Fine, fine. Thank you so much for asking. Maria Andrea, I don't know if you are here. Jose Humberto, Miriam, Miriam. If you are, please remember to keep your cameras on. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, hopefully the rest will connect during the class. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to our first class. My name is Jose David Neri, and I'm going to be working with you on this level. Um, I know this is your third level, and you already know how it works and everything, but still, I would like to go through the course guidelines just to make sure that everything will be fine. And just let me get the presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Bueno, ahora por ser el primer día, ya imagino que ustedes, bueno, no imagino, lo que ya están, ya están aquí, ya tienen tiempito de estar acá, eh, pero igual, vamos a revisar únicamente, nos vamos a tomar un momento solo para ver las, 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 las guidelines, o todo lo que tenemos que hacer para que no tengamos ningún problema y desarrollemos la clase de la mejor forma posible y al final igual, no haya ninguna situación. Eh, bueno, estas son las normas, por decirlo así, o las guidelines que tenemos que seguir acá. En primer lugar, está la parte de la attendance, de la asistencia, ¿verdad? Recordemos que para que ustedes puedan ser promovidos al siguiente nivel, tienen dos requisitos. El primero es la nota, la calificación, y el segundo es la asistencia. El mínimo que a ustedes se les pide para poder ser promovidos al siguiente nivel es del 80%. Lo cual quiere decir que de las 20 clases que vamos a recibir aproximadamente tienen como unas 4. En las que pueden faltar por decirlo así. Sin embargo, yo lo que siempre les digo a los estudiantes es que si ustedes tienen alguna situación por la cual no van a poder estar activos en la clase pero tienen la opción de conectarse, háganlo para que al menos les cuente la asistencia y no les quede como día perdido. ¿Sí? Conéctense, aunque sea de oyentes, y así al final eh, siempre se les va a tomar en cuenta ese día. Claro que no va a ser los 20 días, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Allá de vez en cuando, por alguna emergencia extrema que de verdad no permita que ustedes estén en la clase activos, pueden conectarse y le, para que les tome la asistencia. Recuerden también que la asistencia la tomamos directamente de la plataforma de Zoom. No es como que vaya así, ¿verdad? Ok, eh, Norma, presente. Alexandra, presente. No, ¿verdad? La asistencia se toma de la plataforma Zoom. Zoom crea un reporte diario de cada reunión que se tiene. Y al final de ahí, donde nosotros sacamos el tiempo que ustedes estuvieron conectados para luego subirlo al Drive, donde llevamos el reporte de la asistencia. Es bastante importante también la parte de la puntualidad, por eso mismo, como Zoom es el que cuenta todo, ustedes al final, como la clase dura una hora y media, diariamente tienen que acumular 90 minutos. ¿Sí? Así que si ustedes se conectaron a las 4 y 5, por ejemplo, ya perdieron 5 minutos. Esos reportes les van a aparecer 85 minutos. Si se conectaron a las 4 y 10, 
al final ese día le van a aparecer solamente 80 minutos. Eso cuenta al inicio y al final. La clase termina a las, a las 5 y media. Pero si usted se desconecta a las 5.25, por decirle así, ya perdió otros 5 minutos. Y luego al final se le hace la sumatoria de todo eso y así le va a bajar el nivel de la asistencia. Y si no llega al 80%, lastimosamente, aunque tenga 10 en todo, no va a poder ser promovido al siguiente nivel. Claro que hay excepciones, ¿verdad? Dependiendo de cómo sea la la participación, la actitud del estudiante y todo eso, se pueden llegar a acuerdos. Sin embargo, véanlo así, si no llegan al 80%, como decían en el jardín infantil, ¿verdad? Ya se va, papito. Salud, pues. Right. So, ¿estamos claros con la parte de la asistencia y la puntualidad? Excelente. Oh. Esto era lo que les decía, siempre estar a tiempo y la clase dura 90 minutos los cuales los calcula Zoom. Ahí ya no es cosa de nosotros, sino que todo es Zoom. Ah, también tengan cuidado si se van a, si por alguna razón se van a cambiar de un dispositivo a otro. Asegúrense de estar conectados ya en el otro dispositivo antes de conectarse al anterior, porque si pasan también ese lapso, se les corta y pierden ese tiempo. Ahora, otra de las partes más importantes es esta. Keep your cameras on. Por favor, siempre que usted se conecte, encienda la camarita, ¿sí? Porque, bueno, yo lo veo desde el punto de vista así que es mucho mejor estar interactuando con un rostro, ¿verdad? Con una persona, a estar solamente escuchando y viendo una foto o un nombre. Así que, por favor, enciendan la cámara y manténganla encendida desde el inicio hasta el final. Si se va a levantar, entonces no hay problema, la apaga el ratito que se levanta, pero cuando vuelve la pone otra vez y la vuelve a encender. Porque eso también les cuenta en las calificaciones. En las calificaciones hay una nota que se llama eh, participación en la clase y esa, esa calificación tiene un 20% de la nota final. O sea que si ustedes están así pasivos y con la cámara apagada, pues esa nota les va a quedar baja y van a perder ese porcentaje. Así que por favor, eh, como lo estoy mencionando en este momento, si ya todos estamos acá, si ya todos estamos listos, enciendan la camarita para que podamos interactuar mejor. También a mí se me solicita que tome dos capturas de la clase, de quienes están conectados. Una al inicio de la clase y la otra cuando estemos a punto de terminar. Y básicamente, ¿qué es lo que ven con estas capturas? Uno, la cantidad de estudiantes que están conectados y dos, la cantidad de estudiantes que están con la cámara encendida. Porque al final todo se toma en cuenta. Todo se lleva bien controlado, bien fiscalizado para ver quiénes sí están cumpliendo con los requerimientos. Así que, por favor, man, tratemos de mantener la cámara siempre. Más allá de la parte de la asistencia y del control y de todo eso, como les menciono, para que la interacción sea mejor. ¿Sí? Porque imagínense que yo estuviera así y solo hablando y ajá, ¿cómo se sentiría? ¿Verdad que no se siente tan cómodo a diferencia de estar así? ¿Verdad? Así que, hay que mantener la cámara encendida todo el tiempo, o la mayoría del tiempo. Salud. Ahora, el siguiente punto, esto es por cuestión de asistencia y reportes también. Have your full name in Zoom. Cuando ustedes ingresan a la plataforma de Zoom, ahí les da la opción para que puedan poner su nombre. Así que ustedes acá tienen que aparecer con el nombre comenzando con los apellidos. Bueno, en mi caso, eh, mi nombre es José David Neri Méndez. Tendría, si fuera estudiante, ¿no? que aparecer de esta forma. Neri. Neri Méndez. Uy, que fea la voz de ese muchacho. Así soy yo. Va. Neri Méndez. José David. Y así tienen que aparecer ustedes. Nombre completo, comenzando con los apellidos. Perfecto, Alexandra, muchas gracias. 
En el caso de Giancarla Jovel, igual tendría que poner el nombre completo y cambiarlo. Para que a la hora de subir la asistencia, a la hora de subir las calificaciones, sea mucho más sencillo para nosotros también. Y no estar buscando así entre la lista. Imagínense, son 40 y tenemos que ir. ¿Y quién era? ¿Y quién era? ¿Verdad? Pero así está organizado en orden alfabético, comenzando por los apellidos. Y este... Mmm, eso. Así que tratemos de siempre mantener el nombre completo, comenzando con los apellidos, los nombres. ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a este punto? Muy bien. ¿Sí? Aquí puse el... Sorry. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Ulises, Valencia. How are you, my friend? Do you have a question? Are you at the hey, table? Well. No. Ok. Ahorita solo Sorry estamos... for late. Ok. Estamos solo... Vamos through the guidelines para que tengamos todo claro desde el inicio. Ahora, esto, señores. La más, la más de todas. La más importante. Participate. Recuerden que ustedes están aprendiendo o, o mejorando un segundo idioma, ¿verdad? Así que la única forma de de verdad poder hacerlo es a través de la práctica. Para mí, el mejor dicho que se ha dicho, valga la redundancia, es que la práctica hace al maestro, ¿verdad? Porque incluso hasta nosotros nos pasa, si dejamos de practicarlo o de hablarlo, se nos va olvidando. Y ahí nos vamos atrasando. Entonces tenemos que irlo practicando a diario. Yo siempre les digo a la gente que esto es como aprender a manejar o aprender a nadar. ¿Sí? Como todo en la vida. El que puede manejar sabe que para poder manejar se tuvo que subir al carro, encenderlo. Si era estándar se le apagó 20 veces hasta que dominó el clutch y ya no se le apaga, ¿verdad? Pero ¿qué fue lo que pasó? Practicó, 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 practicó hasta que lo logró. Si alguien puede nadar, sabe que tuvo que haberse tirado a la piscina, ¿verdad? Aunque le daba miedo y practicar para poder hacerlo. No se le quedaba solo viendo el agua y por arte de magia ya podía nadar, ¿verdad? ¿no? Entonces es lo mismo. Si, os quiere, si ustedes de verdad quieren dominar el idioma, tienen que practicarlo. Así que, cero pena, cero miedo, cero dudas. Bueno, o sea, en el, en el, en el, cero dudas al respecto de que me puede equivocar en algo. Y por eso mejor me quedo calladito. No. Practique. Que no le importa si lo va a pronunciar mal. Si no sabe cómo decir algo, pregúnteme cómo se dice. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? How you say? How do you say? How do you say? Esa va a ser una de sus preguntas más importantes o de sus herramientas más importantes. El how do you say? Pero es que, teacher, no sé cómo se dice tal cosa. Pregúnteme, how do you say tal cosa en inglés? Luego yo le digo y seguimos. Así que hay que participar, hay que participar. Y como dice el siguiente punto, tenemos que mantener una actitud positiva al aprendizaje. ¿sí? Es muy diferente estar así activo, dinámico. Acá me solo. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? Incluso la posición corporal afecta, porque si usted está demasiado relajado en la sillita, lo primero que le va a dar es sueño. Así que todo, tiene que cuidar la actitud, tener una buena actitud hacia el aprendizaje. No tener miedo y poner todo su empeño para que usted pueda... Así que eso, por favor. Y les pido que la participación sea proactiva. O sea, que no tengan que esperar a que sea yo quien les diga... Ok, Alexandra, dele, respóndame esa pregunta. Ok, Miriam, su turno. Ok, eh, eh, Santos, díganme tal cosa. No, vamos a hacer un ejercicio y que sea usted. Yo, teacher, yo, yo, mi, mi, mi. O pone la manita ahí para que se la, particip la participación venga de ustedes. Y recuerden que todo eso es el 20% de la nota final también. ¿Sí? La participación cuenta. Solo ahí son dos puntos que pueden perder. Sacan 10 en todo lo demás, pero no participaban, se quedaron bien pasivos en clase. Su promedio final va a ser 8, pudiendo haber sido 10. Así que, let's participate. Esta parte sé que nos vamos a hacer muy bien, que nos ayudemos mutuamente. Si alguien tiene, cuando hay, cuando hay una duda, que alguien no sabe cómo decir algo, 
si es algo que, podri, que podría ser no tan complicado, yo les digo, ok, guys, how do you say tal cosa? Para que sea entre ustedes, que se ayuden con el vocabulario o con lo que le esté costando a otra persona. Sin embargo, esto puede ser bueno, pero también no tan bueno. Porque a veces a una persona se le está dificultando decir algo y viene el otro por la falta de paciencia, lo dice de un solo, ¿verdad? Y ahí es donde no deja que la persona lo logre, que la persona haga todo el proceso para poder expresarse. Así que en esos momentos sí les voy a pedir que seamos un poco pacientes, si a alguien le está costando mucho, ¿verdad? Y luego, pues, si de verdad no lo logró, pues ahí entonces sí le damos el, el empujoncito, ¿verdad? Pero no lo vamos a dar el empujoncito sin que ni siquiera haya intentado, ¿verdad? Hay que ser pacientes, hay que ser pacientes. Luego, el segundo punto para que puedan pasar, passing grade es 7.5, no es 7.0. Para que ustedes puedan pasar al siguiente, al siguiente nivel, además del 80% de la asistencia, necesitan un promedio final en calificaciones de 7.0. ¿Y de dónde van a salir todas estas calificaciones? Ustedes ya saben, ¿verdad? Van a tener en primer lugar cuatro tareas. Una por cada semana que estemos trabajando. La primera semana una tarea, segunda semana otra tarea, tercera semana otra tarea y al final la otra tarea. Cuatro tareas. Que en mi caso yo generalmente les dejo que hagan un video o algo escrito. Pero me gusta más la parte del video porque así ustedes pueden es expresarse. De las cuatro habilidades que tiene el idioma, la, las más sencillas son hablar y I mean, escribir y leer. Y las más difíciles son hablar y escuchar. Por eso en el video es mucho mejor para que practiquen también la parte de la pronunciación. Entonces son cuatro tareas. Tenemos tres exámenes escritos. Uno cuando terminamos la unidad uno y dos. El segundo cuando terminamos la unidad tres y cuatro. Y el último al finalizar todo el módulo. Pero aquí entre nos, el último casi siempre se me olvida. Y les termino duplicando una de las dos notas de los exámenes anteriores. Así que pónganse las pilas con el primero y el segundo. Para que una pregunta, se... teacher, disculpe. ¿Esos exámenes que menciona son los que están en la plataforma? No, la plataforma es por separado. Ustedes tienen okay. que trabajar la plataforma. Todos los ejercicios que están ahí, hay, hay ejercicios gramaticales, hay ejercicios de vocabulario, hay quizzes también. Pero eso son solamente para que ustedes puedan lograr al 100% del trabajo en la plataforma. Eso es adicional. Los exámenes eh, los vamos a hacer acá en la clase. Yo ahí les pongo los ejercicios que van a hacer dependiendo de los temas que estamos estudiando. Podría ser un formulario de Google que yo lo haya creado para que ustedes lo respondan. O algo otra cosa. Eh, o les podría decir vaya. Ah, bueno, bueno, en la parte de los exámenes escritos. Pero sí son, son aparte, José Humberto. Son aparte de la plataforma. La plataforma también es evaluada, tiene, pero solamente tiene el 10% de la nota. Es un puntito por completar el 100% de la plataforma. Y cuidado porque eh, se ha dado el caso de que, recuerden que como al parecer es un formulario, tienen que tener cuidado Gracias. como escriben o algo Gracias. así, porque Gracias. a veces se equivocan Gracias. en una letra Gracias. o algo y les pone el ejercicio mal. Tengan bastante cuidado con la plataforma. Si tienen algún problema con la plataforma, me pueden escribir sí. para ver cómo lo resolvemos. Y, pero al final sí tienen que completarla con el 100%. Uh -huh. Es básicamente es el siguiente punto. Entonces, les mencionaba las cuatro tareas, dos tareas a mí, dos exámenes escritos y dos exámenes de speaking. Que igual, el primero lo haremos cuando terminemos la unidad 1 y 2. El segundo lo haremos al terminar la unidad 3 y 4. Y estos tienen 20% también. O sea, los dos exámenes de speaking, 40%. Y el speaking en class, que es la participación en la clase, otro 20%. Entonces, solo con esas tres evaluaciones tienen 6. Luego la plataforma, que es 10%. Digamos 7. Los exámenes creo que son 1.5 y 1.5 las tareas también. Y ahí llegamos al 10%. Y para que ustedes puedan pasar, necesitan mínimo 7.5. Ya se ha dado el caso que se quedaron con 
y lastimosamente también porque la asistencia no estaba demasiado o no era muy aceptable, la persona se quedó sin la oportunidad de poder continuar. Así que tengan mucho cuidado con eso. ¿Estamos bien con la parte de las evaluaciones? ¿Alguna otra pregunta al respecto? ¿No? Bien. Teacher, Hello. Eh, perdón que lo interrumpa. Este, habla de la plataforma. Bueno, para, en lo personal es primera vez que estoy con ustedes y me gustaría saber cómo entro a la plataforma. A ustedes, eh, ahorita, como están eh, preparando toda la parte, eh, ingresando los al sistema y todo para los nuevos, se les va a informar Gisela o Marcela, no me acuerdo cuál es el nombre. En el grupo hay tres chicas ahí que son de Speak y ellas son la comunicación directa con la parte administrativa. Ellas les van a crear a los nuevos el usuario, la contraseña y les van a mandar un correo para que ustedes puedan comenzar a trabajar. Solo un poquito de paciencia para las chicas porque están bien atareadas y se tardan un poquito. Pero sí, a ustedes, en el caso de los que son nuevos, se les tiene que crear el usuario. A los que vienen ya en continuidad, el usuario y la contraseña siempre es la misma. No les cambia. Igual, si no está todavía, porque al ingresar a la plataforma y les aparece el curso, ¿verdad? Si no aparece todavía es porque no lo han asignado. Solo tienen que tener un poco más de paciencia. Pero ya lo van a asignar para que ustedes puedan comenzar a trabajar. ¿Sí? Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No, no. Ok. Bueno, ese era básicamente el punto número nueve. Ahora, para que ustedes puedan repasar sus clases, les informo. Sí. Qué bueno. sí. Espérenme, 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 espérenme. Sí. Si ustedes prestaron atención al momento que ingresaron a la reunión, una mujer ahí dijo, the class, this, miren, is being recorded, o algo así, ¿verdad? Eso quiere decir que la reunión está siendo grabada. ¿Para qué? Porque nosotros, para que ustedes puedan repasar el contenido o si no pudieron ingresar a la clase, estar activos o solo quieren estudiar y repasar, todos los videos se suben a una lista de reproducción de YouTube que ya tiene que estar en la descripción del grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí ustedes va, van a poder ver los videos de la clase y estudiarlos. Igual, yo para todas las clases creo una presentación de PowerPoint que se las puedo compartir al grupo también para que ustedes la puedan estudiar. Así que tienen los dos recursos, los videos de las clases y las presentaciones de PowerPoint que yo les voy a enviar. Ahora igual, solo un poquito de paciencia, ¿verdad? Para que se pueda ir actualizando todo. Porque no es como que terminamos la clase y ya puedo subir el video. No, se tiene que generar el video y todo para poderlo subir. Pero trataré de mantenerla actualizada uno o dos días después de cada clase. Para que ustedes puedan estudiar. ¿Ok? No se preocupen, las listas de reproducción no son públicas, así que no se van a hacer famosos en YouTube, a menos que ustedes quieran, por supuesto. Y así, es solo para que ustedes lo puedan estudiar. Y ahora, con la parte de la práctica también, guys, speak English all the time. El teacher se lleva 20 minutos hablando en español. <ríe> sí, pero porque quiero que esto les quede bastante claro, especialmente la parte de la tenas y la parte de las notas, porque ya se han dado casos que al finalizar el módulo la gente está así como que mire porque no pasé y pues por eso, ¿verdad? porque no cumplió con el 80% de la asistencia o porque no llegó al 7.5, entonces quiero que eso les quede bastante claro la parte también, ah, y hablando de eso si pueden, por favor, poner las camaritas. Voy a, tomar la, voy a tomar la primera captura para el día de hoy. Pero igual, pónganla y no la quiten, ¿verdad? No es solo para la foto. Sonrían. Ok. Vaya. Fue la primera. Le voy a pedir un favor porque a veces con la emoción de la clase y todo, se me, se me va el cassette y se me olvida tomar la primera o la segunda captura, así que avísenme, teacher la foto, teacher la foto ¿Eh? para que sí, porque no después me van a la orea porque no la subo, todas esas capturas igual se suben a un drive, todo el control de lo que hacemos se maneja, se maneja en Google Drive, ahí está la asistencia ahí están las calificaciones las capturas y todo, la parte administrativa 
Así que, por favor, tratemos de utilizar el idioma lo más que podamos. Sí, sé que están en proceso de aprendizaje. Sí, sé que hay cosas que desconocen. Incluso yo soy bastante honesto. Hay muchas cosas que ya me han quebrado, que me han dicho, teacher, how do you say tal cosa? Y pues, tampoco soy enciclopedia ni diccionario, ¿verdad? Así que paciencia, paciencia, porque también estamos aprendiendo. Para eso es que nos vamos a ayudar mutuamente y nos vamos a tener paciencia, pero vamos a tratar de siempre hablar en inglés. ¿Ok? Quiero ver si se me queda alguna. No. So, ¿alguna pregunta antes que cambiemos el cassette y comencemos con nuestra clase del día de hoy? De todo esto que hemos hablado. No questions. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with today's class. First of all, you are new for me and I'm new for you. We don't know each other. So we are going to introduce ourselves. We're going to give a little bit of our personal information. Uh, one volunteer to read the presentation, please. Who wants to, who wants to help me to read the instructions? Read the slide. Ok, eh, eh, Norma, Norma, read, please. Let's get to know each other. Ask personal information questions to your classmates in order to get to know them. Excellent. If, Oops, sorry, go ahead. For example. What, what's your name? Are you single or married? Where do you live? Thank you, Norma. So, we are going to get to know each other, but to make it not tan aburrido, no vamos a hacer presentación uno por uno, but it will be like an interview. You will ask personal information questions to your classmates and they will introduce themselves. Let me give you the example. Right now, you ask me questions, personal information questions. Ask me, ask me. Come on, don't be shy. Lo que sea que le venga a la cabeza. Ask me. Where do you live, teacher? I live in Isalco, Sonsonate, Norma. I live in Isalco, Sonsonate, but don't worry, no soy brujo. I just live here, <laughs> but I'm not a brujo. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next. 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 How old are you, teacher? Emma, I am, I am 37 years old. I am 37 years old. Next. Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Speak, 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 speak. Uh -huh. Are you single uh, or married? I, Giancarla, I am single. You see, I'm very happy. So I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have a son, though. I have one son, but I'm not married. I'm <laughs> Look yes. at your face, teacher. Yeah, Look yeah, I'm very happy. So. <laughs> Happily single. Happily single. Uh -huh. <laughs> Next. Come on, tell me more. Ask me more. What is your favorite music? I don't really have a specific kind. I love all kinds of music except electronic. Why? Because I like music for the lyrics. For the letter, oh, right? right? And electronic, right. electronic music doesn't have lyrics. It's just sound. Yeah. So that's it's why I don't only, like only, only music. Exactly. No, it's only the music, no only the sound. Yes. Right. So that's why, basically. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I like all kinds, rancheras, pe uh, yeah, perreo, <laughs> but the old one, not Bad Bunny, I don't like Bad Bunny. <laughs> romantic music in English, romantic music in Spanish, rock in Spanish, rock in English, yeah, depending on the lyrics. Okay. Next. Next. My favorite group, the rocks. My favorite? The favorite ro uh, group rocks. Group My rocks. favorite rock band. Mm -hmm. mm, in Spanish will be uh, uh, Los Héroes del Silencio. Oh yeah. <laughs> English, English. I like Megadeth, Iron Maiden, and oh. uh, wasn't and what's the name of this band? Aerosmith. Metallica, Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Next. Come on. What, don't is your, what is your favorite food? Oh, Norma, my favorite food is chicken. <laughs> I love chicken. <laughs> I eat okay. chicken in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, after night, the next day, every day, chicken. Yes. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. Yes. Next. Come on, don't be shy. Mm. Ask me questions. This is part oh, of your practice. Which favorite <laughs> movie you like? My favorite movie. Mm, again, I don't have a specific movie, but I I like the Fast and Furious saga and I like Marvel movies. Mm. Yeah, like okay. Iron Man, Thor. Yes. Excuse me. Have you ever traveled to other countries? Yes, Ulises, I have traveled to Honduras and Guatemala. Oh. Yes. Teacher. I, yes. It's a great one. Mm, I have soccer, one. Soccer team you support? I'm um, sorry. Ulises, repeat. Yeah. Which one you soccer team you support? I don't like soccer. No, no way. No, I it's don't my like team, soccer. Teacher. Really? It's my team. <laughs> yes, I don't like soccer. Me too. I don't like. I hate you. Me neither. Yeah. I hate you. <laughs> if I talk about sports, well, I don't like mm -hmm. watching soccer. I used to play when I was younger, but watching, yeah. I, I don't like it. Robert, yeah. what was your question? Uh, yeah. Um, what is your great dreams? My? Uh, your great dream. Dream or drink? Yeah, uh, dream. Dream like when you're sleeping? Dream like... Like a no, goal? like goals or... Purpose? Well, my dream, my dream is to have my own English academy. I want to have my English academy in the future. Yeah, okay. that's my dream and my, my, my long-term goal. In Largo Plazo, long-term goal. Yes. Okay. Next. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Cecilia, eh, Catherine, Alexandra, Emma. Come on. Practice. This is part of your practice. Remember, we are practice asking questions. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a pet? And what is your favorite? I don't have a pet. I don't like animals that much. But if I had a pet, I would have a, I would have a cat, probably. I like cats. <laughs> but I prefer teacher, cats. Yes, but, uh, Alexandra. Uh, why do you like why do you don't like pets? Why don't you like why, why don't, don't you like, you like pets? pets? Just um, because because they smell. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the smell. <laughs> even if you even if you shower them, they still smell. They stink. So that's why I don't like them. I have a very sensitive smell. Yeah. Not nose, but smell. Smell is the is how you say the los sentidos in English. Smell, olfato. So I have a very sensitive smell. Mm -hmm. Next, ask me four more questions before we move on. Uh -huh. Why do you choose teach? Oh, because I like to help people, right? And that's why I decided to become a teacher and specifically to become an English teacher because I know that for my own experience that if you speak two or more languages, you have a lot of opportunities in your life. And I like to help people. It makes me happy when some students tell me, hey, you know what, teacher? I got a new job and I have a, a good salary and I learn a lot. So that's why, Emma. Mm -hmm. Three more questions? I have a question. Tell me, Cecilia. Uh, what is your favorite social media? Um. Well, I like I like TikTok. I I can see some uh, interesting videos, not not stupid things, right? But I like it because you can learn something. I follow some English teachers there, or YouTube as well. Facebook, I used to like it, but I don't like it anymore. I don't usually that much. I just stay with YouTube. I actually tried to become a YouTuber in the past. I have two YouTube channels. Yeah. Teacher, what was your first job? <laughs> Let me think. Well, when I was very, very young, my mom sent me to a, to a carpenter shop. And I, 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 I suppose I learned how to how to how to make things from wooden, right? Like beds and stuff like that. After that, I work in a library. But those were like informal jobs. My first formal job was at Sites, a call center. 
Yes. I have worked I have worked as a teacher. I have been working as a teacher for almost 10 years. I also have seven years call center experience. I have worked as an interpreter over the phone. And I have also worked as a translator. So por eso les digo, van a tener un sinfín de oportunidades if you dominate the language. Uh -huh. A lot of doors open. All right, so that's about me. Now it's your turn. Now we are <laughs> going to ask questions to you. One volunteer? Who wants to start? Who wants to break the ice? Can I run per yellow? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Cecilia, thank you. So ask questions to Cecilia, people. Cecilia, first of all, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Where exactly? Um, Flor Blanca. Oh, okay. All right. So ask questions to Cecilia, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. How old are you, Cecilia? I'm 22 years old. Oh, you're very young. Okay. Next. Why next. um why are you studying English? That's a nice one. Well, I think it's a great opportunity. Um for work and um I, I want to learn because I like the language. Okay. Um, next. Hey, brother and sister. Yeah, I have one sister. Okay. Yes, Robert, what's your question? How do you see in five years? How do you see yourself? No, in five years. Yes. How do you see yourself in five years? The question was like this. Yes. I see myself in five years in five years um working like a nurse and maybe having my own clinic. Are you studying to become a nurse? Nurse? Yeah. Yeah, I'm studying. Okay, nice. Next. Are you working currently? Are you currently working? Okay. No, I'm not working. Just starting. All right. Three more <laughs> questions to Cecilia before we go to the next one. Are you actually studying? And if you do, where are you studying? Yeah, I'm studying nursing and I'm studying in EFROS here in San Salvador. Too. Where? Yeah, price. <laughs> What's that? It's like um, a nurse academy. Really? Yes. Oh. Too. Academy. Academy. Oh, I didn't know there was a nurse academy. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> Two more questions to Cecilia. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is go to the gym. I go every day. <laughs> All right, you're a fitness person. Yes, Robert. <laughs> uh, which country do you like to visit? Well, I would like to visit uh, the States and Spain too. Spain. Do you have a visa? No, yet. <laughs> Not yet. Probably in the future. <laughs> All right, Cecilia, nice to meet you. Perfect. Give a round of applause for Cecilia. Good job, good job, good job. Come on, guys. Clap it up, clap it up. All right, next, next, next volunteer. Teacher, I have a problem. Uh, Why, it's Robert? raining mm -hmm. and I cannot uh, listen very well. Do you have headphones? No. Okay. I don't have it. Uh, me too. I, it's raining to that. Really? It's raining hard. Yes. Okay. And I can't hear you. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> All right. No problem. Well, try to get earphones or headsets. Go no how different also con headsets. Because mm -hmm. it looks like we are going to have a lot of rain these coming days. Okay, so next, who's next? Come on, guys, don't be shy. Okay, Alexandra. Guys, ask questions to Alexandra Santos. People. Where do you live, Alexandra? I live in Santa Tecla. Yeah. Oh, nice. Near Paseo del Carmen. Um, Actually, yes. Okay. Um, I'm eight years old. 18 years old. 18 years old. 18 or 80? 18. Oh, yeah. You look too young to be 80. Yeah. 18. <laughs> yes. Next. Yes, Cecilia. Do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, where's your favorite place to 
visit with, with your friends? Mm, actually, I don't get used to like go out of my home, but if I have to like visit any place, I like, I don't know if you have ever heard about uh, Piccola Coffee. What? Yeah, so that's that's my favorite place like just to talk and spend time with my friend with my friends and also with my family okay so you like coffee All right i love next. coffee All right next next what kind do of you have a bed wait sandra continue sandra gonzalez se fue natalie yeah. Do you have a pet? Yes, actually, I have a little cat. Oh, well, kitty. Uh -huh. a kitten. Okay. Next, 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 next. Come on. Three more questions to Alexandra. Why did you decide to learn English? All right. Josué, repeat. Why did you decide to learn English? Okay. Uh, I decided to study English because. Uh, in the past, I studied for three years, but actually I stopped studying and I forgot. So I wanted to improve my English. See what happens when you lose practice? But well, you speak very well already. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes, Ruth, Peña, what was your question? Where would you like to travel? Mm, I would like to travel to Korea. I love Korea. You like K-pop? Yes, I do. You like dramas? Yes, I do. <laughs> Have you watched Escalera al Cielo? No, I haven't yet. That's a beautiful one. <laughs> Emma, you don't like it? Why? It's, it's no, very dramatic. because it's too dramatic. I know, you spend the whole time crying. Kinda. You're crying all the time. Don't like, it's nice. It's nice. Don't you like don't like it. crying? <laughs> okay. It's the K-drama favorite to my mom. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the dramas are good. They are good. Some, some. But yeah, they are very romantic. Yes. All right, Alexandra, thank you. Nice to meet you. Give a round of applause for Alexandra. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Next, come on. Next, 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 next. Guys, remember, cameras on. If you are here, cameras on. I want to see your faces, not only your names. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Hmm, no volunteer. Russell, I will pick you. Catherine Marroquin, open your microphone, Catherine. Guys, ask questions to Catherine, Vanessa, I guess, Marroquin, Henriquez. Catherine, speak. Catherine, say yes, hi. I... Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, ask questions to Catherine. Come on, guys, come on. Don't be shy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Cecilia. What's your favorite hobby? Hmm... Well, I consider that my favorite hobby is watch movie with my older sister. Mm. What's your favorite hobby? I mean, your favorite movie. Um, I don't have exactly a favorite movie, but I like a romantic movie. Okay. What's the worst movie you have watched? What? Sorry. What is the worst movie that you have watched? La peor, the worst. Mm, uh, well, the terror, because I I scare very, very uh, Easily? fast. Okay, <laughs> you don't like horror movies. Nice. <laughs> Next, come on, ask more questions to Catherine. Uh-huh. Are you studying? Yes, I study. Uh, currently, I study business administration. This is my second year. Really? Yes. How old are you? Uh, 20. Wow, you're very young. Okay. Right. Next. Come on, guys. Ask more questions to Catherine. Uh, what do you do? What do you do in your free time? Mm, I, well, in the weekend, usually my free time, and I visit my grandparents 
or go out with my family. What do you usually go out when you go out with your family? Um, at part, uh, well, uh, Friday, uh, always we we go we go to a church. To the church. Yes. Catholic or Christian? Catholic. Okay. Yes, Ulises, go ahead. We're going to support your practice. <laughs> Sorry, what is what is we can sport do you practice? What kind of sports do you practice? Uh, I don't practice the sport. <laughs> Any. But do you like watching sports? Uh, yes, I like play with my friends, but it's only when when we say we when we want to play someone, <laughs> but it's not usually that I practice some sport. Okay. Soccer. Yes, Perfect. I like. Oh, you like soccer? <laughs> okay. Any other question? Two more questions to Catherine before we move on. Uh, what will what would you like to be in the future? Mm, I don't know. I I I know. Say how how do you say teacher licenciada? That word doesn't exist in English. Licenciada doesn't exist in English. You just uh you just mentioned the occupation like like what would you like to work like or ask like Cecilia she said she wanted to be a nurse right you can mm -hmm. get licenciada en enfermería but licenciada no just nurse or nursery uh, okay mm -hmm. uh, when the future I will I will uh, I will like uh, to work a business a business a business. And uh, well, currently, uh, my older sister is working a business, and I I see a little about uh, he she do she doing every day, and I like I don't know exactly uh, what is the the position in the job, but I like <laughs> but honestly, is why that I like I would like uh, Wara. Obviously, and improve my uh, knowledge about the economic and another things. Okay. Yes, Ruth. And um, what is your favorite place on vacation? Sorry? What is your favorite place on vacation? For, for, for vacations? Uh, what uh, in vac on vacation? Yeah, what places would you like to visit, or do you like to visit on vacations? Uh, uh, usually with my family, and uh, on vacation we go out to to my grandparents because they live on San Vicente, and they there are a lot of plants and and place beautiful and, and and sometimes we live in the mount the mount Shinshantepec. Ah, oh, nice. The volcano. The volcano. And where, where do they live exactly? They live San Vicente San Emigdio. Emigdio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, I went there. Yes. Is 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 clear the 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 volcano? It's near the volcano. It's in the mountains, right? And yes. yes. Yes, I went there in in August. I guess I went there. I have a friend who lives in San Vicente. He uh, lives in Apastepeque. Yes. Okay. Good job, Catherine. Give a round of applause for Catherine. Nice, 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 nice. Well, we're gonna have two more before before we go to the next topic. So who wants to practice? Remember, this is your practice, guys. This is the only time you have to practice. So, uh, Norma, would you like to practice? Would you like to practice and tell us about yourself? Okay, ask questions to Miss Norma yes, Figueroa. Ask questions to Norma. Yes, Cecilia, go ahead. Norma, uh, what do you do for a living? 
I, excuse me. I don't understand very well. Oh, what do you do for a living? Um, uh, diary, diariamente. What do you do for a living? Meaning, what is your occupation? Okay, I am ama de casa. How do you say ama de casa in English, guys? Housewife. Mm. Housewife. Housewife. Mm -hmm. Housewife. Okay, I am housewife. Okay. Next. That's Why did you decide to study English? Because I like it very much. <laughs> nice, nice. Next. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Santos, ask a question. Emma, I want to hear your voices. Quiero conocer sus voces. Giancarla, Ulises, Ruth, come on. Jose Lopez. Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite is, is um, uh, several colors, but my favorite, favorite, favorite <laughs> is blue, blue, um, light blue, light blue. Okay, nice. Next. What do you do, Miss? Okay. <laughs> Giancarla? <laughs> Giancarla, repeat your question. Stephanie? Jovel? Can you hear me? No me oye. Maylene Toledo, are you there? Yes. Yes. So what what's what do question? you uh, What do you live? Where do I you I live in San Salvador, in um, San Salvador City, near the um, um, the center. Downtown. Of San Salvador, downtown. Okay. Nice. Ya me mandaron el agua para acá. Near the center historical. The historical yes. Okay. And Natalie, what are you? Natalie, what was your question? What is your favorite food? My favorite food is the pupusas. <laughs> Ooh, crazy pupusas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite type of pupusas? Um, chipilín or revuelta, la pupusa loca. <laughs> All right. Good. Give me one second, guys. Se me vino la lluvia. ¿Por qué me mandaron la lluvia? <laughs> Para que nos crea que está lloviendo. ¿Qué? Para que me crea que está lloviendo aquí donde mí. ¿Dónde estás? 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 Okay, Norma. Teacher. Hi, Ulises. Teacher. Teacher. Hi, tell me. Santa Fidelina live in Isaco too. You live in Isaco? Santa Fidelina live in Isaco too. Who? Santa Fidelina. Santa Fidelina, the witches. They're breaking up to the Yeah, yes. Repeat, Santo Fidelina. Live Santo Fidelina. Really? Really, Santos? Santo Fidelina. Santo Fidelina López yeah. González. No, really, teacher. I live, <laughs> I live in Ilo Vasco, La Paz. Oh, I have, I have family in Ilo Vasco. Where do you live in Ilo Vasco? Really? Yeah. Where do you say eh, you live? Colonia La Palma. But in the in the in the city, Ilo Vasco. Or outside the city. Se le frizó. Okay. Let's see. Let's hear people. All right. Well, one more before we continue with the next topic. Mm, who's gonna be? It? Who's gonna be? It? Let's see. Mm -hmm. oh, no, right. Emma, your turn. Open your microphone. Si me oyen, verdad? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, guys, okay. ask questions to Emma. Are you married, Emma? Uh, actually, no. I am live with my couple. Is it me or you can hear it? No le oí nada. Ah, perdón, you... aquí. <laughs> Repeat, Emma. Actually, I don't be married, but I live with my couple. Oh, okay. Next. Next, 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 next. How many on, children guys. do you want to have? Um, I have only one child and I don't want to have any more child. <laughs> <laughs> only one is more than enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> next. What's your do favorite you have a food? Um, sorry. Um, what's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food uh, are tacos. Ruth, repeat the question. Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog and I have a cat. Why? Do you have siblings? Yes, I have one sister and one and one brother. Next. Me teacher. Yes, Sandra. Emma, what is your hobby? My hobby is um, watch anime series and Ooh. listen to death metal music. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you have 10 already. What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime is Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, it's a nice one. Have you watched One Piece? I don't like One Piece. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, no. you got ya no tiene diez. Sorry. <laughs> I love One Piece. I love One Piece too. Yes, it's, it's boring. Nah, no. it's not. Yeah, like Naruto is boring. <laughs> I don't think my second favorite. Yeah. I am. <laughs> You're missing points. You're missing points. I prefer the kind of anime like gore. Ah, and okay. horror and terror and all things. <laughs> Have you watched Death Note? Yes. That's a good one too. Yeah. Alpha Light. Yes, it's my favorite. Uh, I could tell that's, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Two more questions to Emma. Yes, go ahead. What What did you do last weekend, Emma? Last weekend, I was busy. Yes. My fam I was to visit my family. I think. I don't Where? remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where does your family live? Uh, my family live in San Jose Villanueva, La Libertad. Okay. Mm. And the last question? Uh, why are you learning English? Because I like the language. <laughs> and I hope to help my son when he going to the school. <laughs> he goes to school. <laughs> For children nowadays, it is very easy to learn English. Yeah. <laughs> you have a lot of different sources for learning. All right, guys, give a round of applause for yourselves. Good job, good job, good job. People, por favor, de camera, de camera, de camera. Remember, remember. Now, let me just tell you some things here. I get, oh First God. of all, I want to tell you, you speak very well already. Of course, there are always some things, right, that we need to be careful with. Like, for example, mm, when we talk about costumbre, estoy acostumbrado o no acostumbro, we have different ways to say it. 
like if I wanna say acostumbro or, or no acostumbro, we don't use the auxiliary don't. I don't use, I, I'm sorry, I don't get this. So if you wanna say no acostumbro, you use the verb to be. I'm not used to. Like when I say I'm not used to I'm not used to practice sports. No suelo o no estoy acostumbrado a practicar deportes. This used to is something we will study later. It's like a capsule informativa only to talk about costumbres que tenemos. But so it's like this, uh, Alexander. I'm not used to. Then what do you think about this, guys? Is it uh, correct to say uh, los viernes? Is it right in Fridays? On you Friday. say yes, normal. Um, Ruth? On Friday. Yeah, the correct preposition is not in. Um, when we talk about days of the week, we use on. Um. On Fridays. So, Catherine. You want to be business, a business woman. Mm, business, donde lleva la doble S esta cosa. Business, business, business. Tell me, is it business or business? At the end? Yeah, at the end, I guess. Well, I will check spelling. So this is business woman is like an empresaria or something like that. So Catherine, I will believe that's what you were trying to say. O tener su propio negocio. How do you say in English, llegar a ser people? How do you say llegar a ser? Like, to ah, be, quiero to llegar be, a ser. To be able, to be able. Mm, to be able is ser capaz de. I would like. I would like. Can is... be will be. What? Stephanie? Can be will be. Would be? Mm, it's a little bit different. Like, like llegar a ser, Become. like when you say, for example, me gustaría llegar a ser o convertirme en un maestro o llegar a ser piloto or that. Word become is, exactly become become so what would you like to become in the future i would like to become a a businesswoman a businessman ah what do you think about this no. to say no estoy casado o casada is that right? I'm not, I'm not um, married. I'm not married. Right? We use the verb to be, not the uh, auxiliary. I'm not, not, don't. He says, I'm not married. So we don't use don't. I'm not married. And remember when we talk about favorites or anything, we need to be careful with the number. My favorite, for example, my favorite food is. Perdón, soy dyslexico en el teclado. Hamburgers. What do you think about this? It's singular, and if we are talking about two things, uh, we'd be plural. So, we what is the mistake? Oh. Are. are yes we don't use is in these cases because we are talking about two things two or more so the correct form is my favorites i'm oh, sorry my favorite foods are chicken and it applies with colors my favorite colors are my favorite drinks are if it's two or more if it's only one yeah then yes my favorite whatever is mm. 
What did you do the last weekend? I was to visit my family. What do you think about this? We only have to put the verb in past. Which verb? Visit. We have to say visit. Visit. No. Oops. I'm sorry, uh, Robert. I hadn't seen the chat. No problem. I, I think the mistake is to the True. proposition because I I was visiting my uh, family. But that would be different. It wouldn't be a simple past. That would be something in past progressive. But in this case, what did you do? It's just a simple past answer. So you can say, I went to visit my family or I visited my family. Only the verb it. in the past. We don't combine verb to be. That's the thing that we don't combine the verb to be unless it is ser o estar. Remember, be is only ser o estar. Right? So if you are not going to say ser o estar, o fui o estuve, o soy o seré, o seré, uh -huh, o estaré, you don't use the verb to be. Only the main verb that you aren't referring to. Yo fui. How do you say yo fui in English? But yo fui de, de, de que fui a un lugar. Went. I went. I went. went. Yo comí. And went. it's correct to say I, I was visiting. Yes, I was visiting. But in that, in that case, it wouldn't be the simple past, but past continuous. And in this case, I was visiting my family. First of all, you don't use the preposition to. I was to. Uh -uh. And you use the ing. I was visiting. No, I was to visit or I was to visiting. Uh -uh. I, auxiliar, verb to be. And the second verb with ing. But that would be continue, the continuous form, not the simple present. No es lo mismo que les pregunte, where did you go? Or what did you, what did you do the last weekend? I went to my family's house. Diferente, what were you doing the last weekend? I was visiting my family. I was working. So what were you doing? ¿Qué estuviste haciendo? Okay. Right. Any questions? Okay, guys, today we are going to talk about city, I mean, places in the city. For that, you are going to ask this simple question to your classmates. What is your favorite place in the neighborhood and why? I will send you to the breakout rooms right now for a couple of minutes and you ask your classmates these questions. Y a menos que tengan memoria fotográfica, take notes so you don't forget. Okay? Just a simple question. What is your favorite place in the neighborhood and why? In my case, my favorite place in the neighborhood is the park because I can have, I can spend time with my friends, I can talk, I can see the people, etc. So I will send you to the breakout rooms and speak about this, okay? Y por favor, en el breakout room, practique, practique, practice, practice, practice. Y la cámara encendida, por favor, por favor, por favor, como dicen los teletubbies. All right. Go to the breakout rooms. And this is your time to practice in small groups. Accept the invitation. This it is, Alexandra. Thank you.
basketball. And don't I? I like I like go running. Okay. okay. The stadium. In, in my case, my favorite place in my neighborhood is the park. Why? Because it's fresh and beautiful. You can you can wash a beautiful flowers and sometimes I go to do exercise and I like this place. What happened? But in my in my neighborhood, how do you say cancha? The basketball? Basketball court. Basketball court. Court. Let me write it. Court. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I have. I have. Court. Yes, in my. Neighborhood, uh, there is a basketball court. It's very good because we meet other young. Other Only that. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite place mainly in your neighborhood? Uh, my favorite place is Cafe Talon. Ah, okay. Because, uh, because uh, my son plays soccer. Okay. And, and you okay. can go very fast there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Jose, what is your favorite place in neighbor? Neighbor. My 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 favorite place is the soccer field because I I going to play two or three times a, a week with my friends. Okay. Near your house. Uh, nope. Uh, Santa Tecla, el Café Tatón, eh, uh -huh. Fútbol Total, Ciudad Merteot, eh, La Gambeta, Los Próceres, eh, Tupal, La Cima, different places. No. Ah, okay. no, ¿cuál? En Jornet. Ok. Ok. María Andrea, we waiting for your answer. Looks like they are not here. Are you the only two? You're the five guys participate. Well, let me. Uh, Richard, I told you, I told you uh, that I have a problem with uh, the noise. Yes, no problem, no problem. I will send it to another room, Ulysses. And you too. Robert, so you can listen. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Me. Mr. Rodriguez. How are you? Uh, very good. And you, sir? Me too. I'm good. Uh, <clears throat> what's your favorite um, place in your near neighborhood? Uh, really, really in my neighborhood is a little town. Hello, welcome back. Did you practice? Okay. I'm going to wait for your classmates. All right, guys, thank you. Now it's time for you to share with me. You are going to talk about your classmates. Something like this. Neri told me his favorite place in the neighborhood is the park because he can walk around the place or sit on a bench and talk to his friends. Now you tell me about the people in your group. Volunteer? Okay, I don't remember very well the, the name, but but here's I just we can see uh Jose. Uh -huh. So uh huh um it's let me see um just just him. I don't know the other people because they they have the the camera the oh, oh. right. Okay, well tell us about Jose. But okay, Jose likes uh in his neighborhood. I I I remember that he say that um, he like to he like eating hamburgers. Maybe I don't know. Uh, that okay. is the it, it it's about uh, some place then he like to go there and um, he, he likes eating. A oh. hamburger. I don't. I, I can't remember very well the. Burger King. A burger King. Yes. Burger King. Burger King. Yes. That is the. That is his favorite place in her neighborhood. Her or his neighborhood. Stephanie. His or her neighborhood. Neighborhood. But his or her. No, his neighborhood. His neighborhood, yes. All right, thank yes. you, Stephanie. Yes. Good job. Norma, okay. yes, you raise your hand. Yes, mailing, mailing place is El Cafetalón. Okay. She, she, like, she like it because uh, she play soccer there. Oh. And... She can run very fast. <laughs> she mm -hmm. likes exercising. Yes. All and right. Jose uh, likes uh, plays like um soccer soccer ball. I think soccer ball in cafetalon. 
en Stephanie eh, Likes eh, eh, Pasares in San Juan Opico because oh. it's pet friendly and uh, the place are uh, have, have um, uh, children park, parks they have a park for the children yes, entonces eh, perdón, <laughs> excuse me <laughs> excuse me uh, only, only that and, and me, I like the uh, historical downtown because there are many people of different uh, countries there yeah. all all uh, every day thank you thank you norman thank you for sharing now, before we continue when we talk about soccer la cancha de soccer is soccer field soccer field and for other sports Cuando la canchita es pequeña, la hay para el basketball, el voleibol, por otro, those are court. For example, basketball court. La cancha de basketball. Okay, thank you. Yes, Cecilia. And then Ulises. Cecilia, tell us. Sandra, favorite place is El Cafetalón because she lives in Santa Tecla. And she likes, to, she likes uh, this place because uh, she can practice sports there and also is like a, a spacious place and she can um, have time with uh, her friends too. Okay, nice Cecilia, thank you. Yes, what is it? All my neighbor, oh, sorry, all my classmates told me they like the park. The park? The fresh. Yeah, for the fresh Why? and soccer court and basketball court. The basketball court. Yeah. What's the name and of the, the person? Pardon Who? Uh, I I remember. I don't remember the the name. Okay. Okay. I guess. Uh, That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, listen. Thank you. Next. Next, 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 next. Come on, guys. Remember, you have to practice. You have to practice. Yes, Tamara. Tamara, 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 Hello, teacher. Hi. No, Della, who did you talk to? Okay, I remember uh, my classmate, the name is um, Giancarla. I, I remember. Uh, she, uh, she liked, she liked to do, to do exercise. Uh, watch TV, watch TV for for do exercise every day, and she has she has um a yoke um, a yoke very difficult because she she has a, no she does but excuse me. Excuse me, she doesn't any time for for her. She doesn't have time for her. Y yeah. What's because her job? um I remember she um her job is about about children. I remember she works with children. Uh -huh, cuidar, cuidar. I don't. How, is, how, how do, do you, you say, say cuidar? cuidar? In in uh huh. Uh, oh, I care. Care. Take care. Take okay. care. Take care of children. 
Okay. Thank you, uh, Santos. Okay. No. Only that. Sure. People. Remember that um, in English, things are said differently than in Spanish, right? For example, when we use adjective, in Spanish, we say something like this. She has a job very difficult. In here, you are thinking in Spanish, translating into English. So this is Spanish. She has, ella tiene, a job, un trabajo, very difficult, muy difícil. Entonces es español, literal. Remember that this is the adjective and this is the noun. And in English, the positions change. So this is, she has a very difficult job. Los adjetivos en inglés van antes del nombre. Okay? No nos confundamos con esto. Ah, voy a tomar la segunda foto. Bueno, señores, a partir de mañana no les voy a avisar cuando vaya a tomar la foto. Por favor, necesito que se tomen bastante en cuenta la parte del uso de la cámara porque ahora la gran mayoría ha estado con la cámara apagada. Recuerden que eso también es parte de la participación en la clase. ¿Por qué? Porque yo, eh, o sea, me enfoco en las personas que, en las que están con la camarita encendida. Porque si usted está con la cámara apagada, me hace suponer que está haciendo otra cosa y que no puede participar en la clase o que no está activo. Y al final recuerden que eso les va a afectar. Aparte de eso, para que se aburran menos y les dé menos sueño, es mejor que estén activos y participando a que solamente estén oyendo. ¿Sí? Tengamos cuidado con eso, con la parte de la cámara y la participación. Necesito que sean más proactivos también, porque, uh, bueno, en la primera clase se están ambientando y todo, pero hay que arrancar, ¿verdad? Hay que ponerle ganas. Así que busque la manera, prepárese un litro de café para que se le quite el sueño. Tomen su Red Bull para que se ponga interactivo, coma mucho dulce o algo para que estén más activos en el clase. ¿Ok? Sí, Ruth, pregunta. Sí, eh, yo quería eh, compartirle de que eh, yo soy mamá de una bebé de casi un año, entonces a veces suelo quitar la cámara porque estoy dando a mamantar. Okay. Entonces, por esa. Sí, sí, sí. Solamente okay. eso, ¿verdad? No, ¿verdad? pero sí he estado bastante activa y participando, lo cual es positivo. Sí, ah, así que eso, sí, ¿no? Sí, claro. entonces, ajá, claro, mi caso de que a veces me tardo por esa razón. Okay. Sí. Bueno, bueno, okay. thank you for letting me know. Y también con el clima, pues, no hay mucho que podamos hacer, ¿verdad? Porque hasta para acá me mandaron el agua y acá si no lo escucho. Pero bien, we finished today's class, guys. Thank you so much for everything. I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.